Like when him. you do all these really high stressful, high danger sort of situations, you're constantly around people that have this extremely high threshold for the extremely high tolerance to discomfort, to uh, you know pushing your endurance levels, overcoming obstacles. Like be, you, you're around people that are like really solid human beings. Like they're very un, like we we're talking about people that are willing to summit Everest, people that will rescue people that summit Everest, people that are willing to do these medical stations 500 yards or 500 meters mm. from the front line. I mean, you're talking about some really solid human beings, very, very unusually solid human beings. When you come back from that mm -hmm. and deal with people like, oh, my fucking cell phone's such a piece of shit, you know, like, oh, my God, this traffic, oh, my God. Like, that is that one of the hardest transitions, like the mm -hmm. modern first world problems gripes, the bullshit that people whine and bitch about? Yeah, yeah, that was part of the discomfort I had when I came back from Iraq specifically um, was, you know, the delay in flights and just how pissed businessman Bob gets, you know, like, <laughs> come on, dude. I let like Louis CK, you know, bit about, you know, you're not fucking walking, you know, yeah. like 13 of you are dead when you get back, you know, like, no, I'm just, I've been on a gratitude tour since I got back. Like, I'm just grateful for everything. I'm so grateful that I was born by random stroke of luck, you know, in Roanoke, Virginia, with good parents and a good family structure and was given all the opportunities that I was given. And I wasn't born in Mosul and hiding in a, you know, a cellar from the most evil dudes on the planet. Yeah, I mean, it's just, a, it's, it's great. So I've come back and instead of getting mad at those people or frustrated with those people, I just try and smile through it and just think, you know, to myself, like, man, I, I wish you could taste what I tasted just not that long ago, you know, like it really recalibrated me um, where it, it just doesn't, you know, I just let it Teflon off, you know, to a certain extent. And with regards to the people that I work with, I tend to, I think, gravitate towards people who um, like these chaotic sort of environments. Um, and I got turned on to this, uh, this thing that was this, this concept, this acronym that the American Military Academy kicked off a few decades ago, was, I think 30 years ago or something. And they, they started referring to working in these VUCA environments, right? Volatile, uncertain, chaotic, ambiguous environments. And how we operate in those environments. And how true champions and leaders like Alex can operate in these places in these atmospheres that are just absolutely shit house sideways and when things go crazy how do you handle how do you manifest it you know what are you what are you doing are you flipping the fuck out are you withdrawing uh, you know and and we all have different methods for dealing but i feel like i've kind of gravitated towards those kind of people uh, yeah i just got done reading sebastian younger's uh book tribe i just read it too when i got back amazing it's amazing right? yeah it, it reminds you of of where we are and where we've been right? yeah and Good also read. why people do gravitate towards those environments and mm -hmm. like what it what they get out of it and how this uh life in these intense environments sort of uh it, it magnifies so much of what it means to be human mm -hmm. and and to be a part of something that's yes. bigger than you yes that's the phenomenal thing yeah. and i read i read uh younger's i read that book too right when i got back so just like last month i read it and it was a great tool for me my um my seal team buddy um uh told me to read it when i got back and yeah. he says he, all the team guys, you know, have, have read it because of that. It reminds them of why. Yeah. Why and then why things are a little bit, uh, you know, the threads come undone a little bit when you're not in that tribe, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. Pretty remarkable. Yeah. And how many people live in environments where they don't know their neighbors, There, there's no danger, there's no excitement, there's no mm -hmm. nothing, and they live this muted, terrifying life. In a lot of ways, it's terrifying because... There's nothing there. It's empty. It's there's a void, yeah. and it's not how human beings are supposed to be. We're supposed to be confronted by a certain be, amount of difficulty. It's supposed to be challenged, right? Yeah. And life's very insulated and uh, and soft, 
And as a result, we insulate further, I think, from that. And, and uh, then we medicate to deal with the hollow <clears throat> feeling that you get from being isolated and insulated. But I answered the questions for earlier, which is why people climb Everest, why you climb K2, why you go to those push yourself. K2. I know, but you push right. yourself. Why anybody why does that? Do. Why do the people push themselves? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, and why do we why do we hunt? Yeah. Why do we run? Yeah. Why do we do the things that we do? Because it it creates engagement for me. And no, I'm I'm not running for my life, but creates struggle. I did run for my life just a few months ago, you know. And and I, you know, I look back now and that was that's the fucked up thing that I think so many military folks really struggle with. And that's what Younger talked about in that book was how would you find the you know, the environment you were in was so precarious and it was just so tenuous. Like it could be wiped out in any second and yet you want to go back there. You know, I got my, I got an avalanche on that mountain, almost dead. But turns out I want to go back. Why? <sighs> why? Like what, why? Right. What is that, that, that wiring that, that makes you want to, but you know why? Because they want to be with their boys and their gals and like, you know, in it, in it, connected feeling like, you know, our shit is tied together. Why do I want to go back in the mountains? The same reason, because I want to go with the same boys and get the same sort of, you know, intense experience. And I think that we miss that. I miss that. I really wow. 